Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to play three or more music files using JavaScript. So let's get started. So I'm going to add an attribute there. I'm going to say on collect equals to two quotations, and I'm going to say play music. So play music followed by two parentheses. And inside of the script tag, see, I at the end of the body tag, I have added my script. So I'm gonna type my JavaScript inside of that tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with the word function. So function, and then I'm gonna say play music, just like that one. You see, we have it here. So I'm gonna add two parentheses and two curly braces. Okay, so now we have our function ready. We are going to add the name of the music files. So I'm going to say constant, so C O N S T, const audio. So audio is like that. So audio one, this is going to be a variable name, equals to new audio. And I'm going to open two parentheses and two quotations. So you see inside of these quotation files, we are going to add the name of our music file. So I have a music, so it's called music1.mp3. All right, so this is the first one. And I'm gonna copy this line because we have three music files. So I'm, I'll just copied and pasted it. So now I'll have to change the variable names. So this will be music2 and music3. So I have three music files. Therefore, I have added uh, my music files like that, and I have stored them inside of variables. So you see, inside of each variable, I have a new audio, and these are the name of my music files. So I'm going to the line underneath it, and right here, we'll attach, uh, you know, an event listener. So for example, I'm going to say audio1, so audio1 dot add event listener and then open two parentheses and right here we will add the word ended so ended so when the music end is ended all right we are going to add a function here so function and i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to open another function like that okay so inside of this function we will say audio2 audio2 dot Play. and then two parentheses just like that and i'm going to add a semicolon here so you see i have uh that one ready so now let's go to the next line and now we'll say okay if this audio 2 is finished so when audio 2 is finished we want to play audio 3 so i'm going to attach the event listener to audio 2 now so audio 2 dot add event listener same thing open two parentheses just like the other one and we are going to open two quotations so ended comma function parentheses curly braces just like that so inside of this one we will play audio three so we'll say audio three dot play Okay, let me add a semicolon at the end of it. And outside of this one, so you see I'm gonna add my semicolon here. So we have uh, uh, our logic ready, but we will add the audio one dot play. So we want to play the first one here. So I'm gonna say audio one. So audio one dot play. And open two parentheses and a semicolon and if our code is clean you know it should play three music files when i click on play button so now if we save this and if we view the page on a browser it should work so now let me open it on chrome and let's click on play so this is the first music and let's wait for the next one so it should play three music files Second one. And 
then the third one is coming after it. Yeah, everybody. Thanks for watching. So, we have successfully played three music files using JavaScript. I'm gonna show, uh, I'm gonna share the code with you all. So, uh, you'll be able to get this code from GitHub, alright? So I'll put the link in the description of my video.